Do you ever feel shy and nervous to speak English? Are you afraid of making errors when you speak? This problem is especially dangerous. If you feel nervous, then you don't practice speaking. If you don't practice speaking, you won't develop confidence, and no confidence means you feel even more nervous. The result is that you can read, write, and listen to English, but you can't speak. What's the solution? Practice speaking frequently in low-pressure situations. What's a low-pressure situation? It's an opportunity to practice your English in a relaxed way, where you can make mistakes and get them corrected without any negative consequences. Examples of high-pressure situations are oral exams, job interviews and telephone calls, and official meetings and presentations. Examples of low-pressure situations that are perfect for practicing include talking to yourself, it seems ridiculous, but it works, and talking with an English-speaking friend. What if you don't have any English-speaking friends? Well, you can find an English conversation partner online if you join a conversation exchange. On these websites, you can find an English speaker who is studying your native language. During the practice, you and your partner speak English half the time and speak in your native language half the time. You can help each other and correct any errors. Visit the Conversation Exchange websites under this video to find an English-speaking partner. When you do more speaking practice in low-pressure situations, you increase your confidence. When you increase your confidence, you feel less nervous. And this makes you want to practice speaking even more. The result is that you're confident to speak English in any situation. Now let's talk about how to avoid common English errors. Although your conversation partner can help correct your mistakes, one of the fastest ways to increase your confidence and improve your speaking is to learn the most common errors in English. The ebook 100 Common Errors in English gives examples and explanations of the most common mistakes that English learners make when speaking and writing. These errors are made by students from beginners to advanced learners, so you are sure to benefit from this book no matter what your level. If you know how to avoid the most common errors in English, you can speak more confidently without being afraid of making a mistake. Your action item for today is to download a free sample of the book 100 Common Errors in English and read it. If you like the sample, you can buy the complete ebook for $15.